OK, in this problem, I'm going to work through uh, finding the integral of 1 over x squared times the square root of x squared minus 1 uh, dx evaluated between root 2 and 2 with the substitution of x equals cosec theta. Now, I wouldn't go ahead and try this unless you are proficient in your trigonometry. Um, all of the trigonometry chapter, really. And this question uh, is definitely worth keeping hold of and returning to because um, it really does kind of like check your understanding of the process and ability to do all of these steps. Okay, so there's a lot of work that goes into this one. So let's start off uh, with finding uh, the dx by d theta. Now that's not immediately obvious. x equals cosec theta. We don't know what that differentiates to necessarily. So um, what we're going to first of all do is write that as 1 over sine theta. Okay. Now you could use um, quotient rule to differentiate this or you could use chain rule. Uh, because it's a fraction, I'm going to use the quotient rule because that's what most likely people would use. So we've got the bottom times by the derivative of the top, take away the top times the derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. So simplifying that, we have minus cosine of theta over sine squared theta. OK, so um, if I wanted to rearrange this to get dx equals, then dx, just multiplying both sides by d theta, will be minus cosine theta, sine squared theta, d theta. OK, now um, this could be simplified, this cos theta sine squared theta. So I'm going to do that. Now, minus cosine theta over sine squared theta is the same as minus um, cosine theta over sine theta times 1 over sine theta. So that's the same as minus cot theta cosec theta. Now, it might not be immediately obvious as to why you might do that, OK? However, it's going to make it a, little, it a little bit easier later on down the line. If you hadn't have done that, um, then you'd still have uh, all these sines and cosines, and you, it would still work through, OK? You'd still be able to get there. OK, now what else do I need to do? Now, I also need to change the limits, don't I? So change the limits. So I've got x equals 2, OK? And I need to work out theta. So that means that 2 would be equal to cosec theta. So that means that sine of theta would be 1 half, OK? So now, if we think about triangle that's got that, so 1, 2, root 3, uh, that's going to be pi over 3, that's going to be pi over 6. So sine of a half, so 1 over 2, opposite over hypotenuse, so that means that theta must be pi over 6. OK. Now, you could always uh, double check that on your calculator as well. But I'm just going to bring in the right angle triangles here. Now, when x is equal to root 2, cosec theta equals root 2. So that means that sine theta would need to be 1 over root 2. Now, that, of course, is going to use the other triangle, where well, that's pi over 4 and pi over 4. So uh, opposite over hypotenuse, so theta would have to be pi over 4. OK, so now let's see what we've got. So this integral is now evaluated between pi over 4 and pi over 6, 
We've got the 1 over. Now, we've got x squared there. So we've got cosec squared theta. And we've got here cosec squared theta minus 1. Let's rewrite that. Now, the dx is this minus cot theta cosec theta d theta. OK, so that's currently what I've got. So if I tidied this up a little bit, OK, I could uh, just rewrite this bit in the numerator. So minus cot theta cosec theta like that. And then I could have the d theta there. OK, saves me a bit of space. OK, now. This minus is out front, OK? I don't particularly like having that there. And I've also noticed that pi over 4 is actually greater than pi over 6. So my limits um, are really the wrong way around how I'd like them. So I could shift the limits, and that multiplies everything through by minus 1. So that gets rid of that negative sign. So that would be beneficial for me. OK, so I can do that. Now, what else have I got? Now, I've got this cosec squared minus 1 down here, OK? Now, if you remember back to your trig identities, sine squared plus cos squared is 1. Now, to get cosec squared, I need to divide through by sine squared. So that would be 1 plus cot squared theta is cosec squared theta. So I've got this identity here. So cosec squared minus 1 must be cot squared. And then I'm square rooting cot squared. OK? So that here should just be cot theta. So I've got cot theta cosec theta over cosec squared theta. And I've got the square root of cot squared. So just cot theta. So now I can spot some cancellations, because I've got the cot theta and the cot theta can cancel. I've got a cosec and a cosec there. So I've now got the integral between pi over 6 and pi over 4 of 1 over cosec theta d theta. However, cosec is just 1 over sine. So actually, I've just got 1 over 1 over sine, which is just sine. So that's just sine theta d theta. Now, I know that sine theta integrates to minus cosine theta. OK? Pi over 6, pi over 4. So now, if I substitute in the pi over 4 into this, now cosine of pi over 4 is adjacent over hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2. So that'd be minus 1 over root 2. Then substituting the pi over 6, so adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's root 3 over 2. So minus root 3 over 2. So I've got plus root 3 over 2, take away 1 over root 2. Uh, like that. OK, so that is actually uh, my final answer, OK, in exact form. Now, I could, um, how could I do it? Well, I could uh, rationalise the denominator on that second term, uh, multiply it top and bottom by root 2. It's going to get me root 2 over 2. And then you could, I guess, simplify that, saying, that, well, that's a half of root 3, take away root 2. OK? And so that is your final answer. OK? Now, this question, uh, I didn't just come up with it. It did come up on um, an AQA uh, paper a few years ago. Um, in total, though it, it put, th it went through, that was like your part A, 
the rest of it was part B. So people are likely to ask me, you know, how many marks would that carry? And I think it carried in total uh, 12 marks. Okay, so this was probably one of the toughest questions I've seen on integration by substitution come up um, on an A-level paper.